Hello boys and girls. Welcome to Madam T Mathematic class. Let's look at Mathematic Year 2, Subtraction of Money, Part 2. Look at this one. Okay, this is the money I have. Duit yang saya ada, 50 ringgit. And then buy, I buy a toy car. Saya beli sebuah kereta mainan. The toy car is 38 ringgit. Kereta mainan tu adalah 38 ringgit. Okay, so ini adalah duit yang saya ada. Ini ialah barang yang saya beli. Okay, I have 50 ringgit and I buy a toy car. The price is 38 ringgit. Now, calculate the balance. Okay, balance. The keywords is balance. Balance means baki. Berapa baki yang tinggal. Okay. Duit yang saya ada RM50. Selepas beli kereta mainan, berapakah yang tinggal? So, balance means that we need to do subtraction. Kita kena buat penolakan. Okay, ambil duit yang ada RM50 minus the cost for toy car, 38 ringgit. Okay, so now we start to minus. Zero cannot minus eight. So we borrow from five. Five become four. And then this one will get ten. Ten minus eight, two. Four minus three is one. And then you write the RM. So the balance is 12 ringgit. Next one, okay, these are the money I have, 150 ringgit notes, 120 ringgit notes, and then 110 ringgit notes. So, when we total up this one, what is the total? 50 plus 20, 70. 70 plus 10 is 80. So, means that I have 80 ringgit. Saya ada 80 ringgit. And then, what I buy? I buy a bag, a school bag. Okay, the price for the school bag is 68 ringgit 80 cent. Ini adalah harga sebuah bag sekolah 68 ringgit 80 cent. Duit yang saya ada, barang yang saya beli, and then same also, calculate the balance, nak cari baki yang tinggal. So, ambil duit yang ada, tolak barang yang dibeli. Okay? We, we subtract the cost of the things that we buy from the money we have. Okay? So, means that 80 ringgit minus 68 ringgit and 80 cent. Okay, for this 80 ringgit, we need to, we need to write 0 0.00 at the back, at the same here. Okay? Kena tuliskan 0 0.00 di tempat sen. Okay? Selepas tu baru kita minus. Okay, 0 minus 8. Can or not? Boleh tak 0 minus 80? Tak boleh kan? Okay, so we need to borrow from ringgit. Kita kena pinjam dengan 80 ringgit. So this 80 ringgit, bila sudah pinjam satu, dia akan jadi 79 ringgit. 79 ringgit. After borrow, will become 79. And then, this is 100 sen. Okay, we convert 1 ringgit to sen. 100 sen. So, now 100 minus 80. 100 tolak 80. So, we will get 20. 20 sen. And then, point. 9 minus 8 is 1. 7 minus 6 is 1. So, the balance is 11 ringgit and 20 sen. Okay, for this one, money I have, this one I have to total up. 50 plus 5, 55. Plus 1, 56. Plus another one, 57. Okay, this is 57 ringgit and sen, 50 sen. 
So 57 ringgit 50 cent I have. Now I buy a color pencil, a box of color pencil. 24 ringgit 60 cent. And then a notebook, 18 ringgit and 80 cent. So calculate the balance. Okay, sekarang nak cari balance. So we have to minus twice. 57 ringgit 50 cent. I minus with the color pencil first. The price for the color pencil. Saya tolak dengan harga untuk color pencil dulu. Duit yang saya ada, tolak color pencil dahulu. Okay, now, tulis macam ni dulu. RM and cent. Okay, can 50 cent minus 60 cent? Cannot, right? So, I have to borrow from 7. This one becomes 6. And then, 1 ringgit convert to cent is 100. Okay, 100. And then, atas ni ada 50 cent. So, 100 cent plus 50 cent is 150. So, I cancel this one. I make it 150. Okay, now I minus 0. And then 15 minus 6 is 9. Then point 6 minus 4, 2. 5 minus 2, 3. Okay, 32 ringgit 90 cent. Now, I have to continue to minus the price for the notebook. Saya kena tolak harga untuk notebook. So, 32 ringgit 90 cent. Sambung, minus 18 ringgit 80 sen. Okay, 90 can minus 80. 90 boleh tolak 80. Jadi tak payah pinjam dengan ringgit. So, boleh tolak 90 tolak 80, dapat 10. Okay, tinggal 10. 10 sen. And then point. Now, 2 can minus 8 or not? Boleh tak 2 tolak 8? Cannot. So, I borrow from 3. Okay. And then this one become 12. Sebab pinjam 10 tambah 2, 12. Okay. 12 minus 8, 4. 2 minus 1, 1. So, the balance is 14 ringgit and 10 cent. That's all for today. Thank you and happy learning.